Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Zygber Tarash and the unknown player. This is a game from the simul that Tarash played in 1884. Tarash had white pieces and he started with e4. The unknown player played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, d4. The scotch game. e takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. Queen to h4, attacking the pawn on e4. How to defend the pawn? Taras played knight to b5. Queen takes on e4 check. The unknown player was happy. He is already better materially than the famous Zygbert Taras. Bishop to e2. King to d8. Let's take it back. If queen takes on g2, then bishop to f3. And after queen to h3, knight takes on c7 check, winning the rook back to our game. So we have king to d8. Black won a pawn, but lost the castling rights. Is it a good trade? The game continued. Tarash castled kingside, bishop to c5. Knight from 1 to c3, developing the knight and attacking the queen. Queen to e5. Knight to d5. Bishop to d6, defending the pawn on c7, but blocking the pawn on d7. Bishop to f4, attacking the queen. It is now obvious that black queen came in the game too early. Queen to f5, bishop to g4, queen to g6, bishop to h5, queen to f5, offering a draw. But Tarash said, you can only offer me your resignation. Bishop takes on d6, c takes on d6, white played a move and black resigned and the move is knight to d6. The unknown player resigned. Where is the queen going? If the queen goes to, let's pick a nice spot for the queen. For then, how would you continue then? The knight takes on f7, the family fork. Is there a better spot for the queen? How about queen to e6? Is that better? Then one line goes like this. Knight takes on f7 check. If the king goes to e8, then knight to c7 check. Again, winning the queen. The rumor says that the unknown player told his friends that he outplayed Tarash in the opening. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.